State Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Okasai Opolot, has promised the people of West Nile region to increase electricity supply from 5 megawatts to 10 megawatts by October next year. He revealed this during a meeting held between him and members of parliament from West Nile at the ministry headquarters in Kampala. We have another project by the World Bank which is evacuating power from Gulu, a transmission line going through uh, Kole, which is in uh, Lango sub-region. It goes to Gulu and then it goes to West Nile. So those two lines, if they, they actually they are, they, they, they are finished, the power problem in West Nile will be a thing of the past. West Nile region has had issues of power supply for a long time, which has affected development in the region. We are steadily pursuing this with government to ensure that they benefit from this service in order to move them to middle income status. Lack of electricity supply in the region made members of parliament, led by Fester Godfrey of Aivu East constituency in Arua City, to petition the ministry. As you are aware, out of the four major regions, it's West Nile that up to now is still being supplied either through thermal power or low voltage power. So the purpose of the meeting, number one, is to get assurances from the line ministry on when will West Nile be connected to the national grid. State Minister for Energy, Okasai Opolot says the ministry is willing to go on ground in West Nile region to assess the challenges in regard to power connection. Continued with this type of approach, going region by region, I don't think we shall have any difficulty in delivering power. You know, sitting in the ministry, it is like sitting in the ivory, and then you don't reach down and you don't involve your stakeholders. I think it is a disservice. The minister also adds that they are looking forward to reducing electricity tariffs in future. Karuma Dam, if it is, it is completed, the tariffs would be low. Also, we realized having so many middlemen in the distribution, in the transmission, increases the power tariffs because there are losses and they are everybody who is involved in that one would want to get a profit. That puts up the power tariffs. We are actually proposing the merger of the various companies. We had five companies in electricity. We are going to merge them to two. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.